Okay, this is Steve again, and we're doing the, um, instead of kombucha, we're going to do the yogurt colloidal gold, colloidal copper, colloidal silver face-off. You can see over here I have a, a Salton yogurt maker. I have put an appropriate amount of powdered milk in the bottom of these. Yes, uh, powdered milk will make yogurt. Um, and then you can see also in the top a little blob of... Um, uh, look, Greek God's yogurt, yeah, that is good stuff. And it does have active cultures, because in about 24 hours we'll have um, yogurt in these cups. And then over here we have the pink is um, a, uh, uh, that's colloidal gold. This in the middle, you can't tell, the di you can't really see the difference on camera, um, but, but that's colloidal copper, and you can tell because it has a, a slightly bluish hue. It, it, you can actually see the colloidal copper in there, and also if I, if I uh, fire a laser through there, it's real, um, it's real obvious that there are particles in there. It's true for this, the gold, too, although the pink color kind of gives it away, and less so for the silver. Um, actually, I'm a little concerned about that silver. I should see a nice solid beam, and I don't, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add all of these and um, uh, mix up the yogurt and then, uh, of course, report on the results. Okay, uh, this is Steve again, and I did not like the look of that silver. See how there's a nice solid beam through there? Uh, when, I, when I hit my light through that other batch of uh, silver, we got... It did not look like a solid beam. The solid beam comes from the, the little laser pen hitting, uh, you know, the light is hitting off of particles. It's the same reason you can see a laser in a room uh, with fog in it and not in a, a good clear room, you know, so those, uh, well, there you go. But anyway, I'm going to go over here, add the, um, add the, uh, the water, turn it on, and um, get back to you in um, 24 hours. Okay, so um, this is the, uh, uh, I guess the final portion of the um, uh, yogurt, colloidal silver, colloidal gold, colloidal copper face-off. Uh, the most interesting one is easily the colloidal silver. Can you shoot that against the light? Mm -hmm. um, look, something clearly did not ferment right with this. Uh, and, and look, compare that to, um, uh, this is the yogurt with no metal in it. Um, clearly that one didn't ferment right. Uh, I'm going to taste it and we'll see what we got there. But uh, let's start with the uh, just the, the regular plain white yogurt with nothing added. And I want you to look at that. That's reasonably thick yogurt consistency. Also look at this. See that? It does not pour out. Mm -hmm. um, And it tastes exactly like I expected it would. Um, I use powdered milk, so it's a little, um, a little chunkier. Uh, uh, sounds kind of weird, but uh, but but there you have it. This, look, there is no way I can tip that sideways. Um, it's a, uh, you know, that's clearly mostly liquid. Whoa. Very solid in the bottom. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but... Something... Look, it doesn't smell bad. It does not smell like yogurt. Hope I don't die, because that is clearly not a normal yogurt culture. Um, I don't know what to tell you about that. But very, very thick in the bottom very thick in the bottom. So colloidal silver did something drastically different. Uh, I'll leave that over here. That's the colloidal silver. This is the colloidal gold. This looks kind of normal. The pink color is, of course, that's just the color that gold is uh, when you make a colloid out of it. Look, that's essentially the same consistency as the, um, uh, the, uh, the control. And that tastes a little different than the control, maybe a little sweeter, but um, I would say that one just made normal yogurt. This is colloidal copper, and would you look at that? Holy Toledo, that is thick. 
That's even thicker than the, um, uh, that's at least as thick, or maybe more thick, than the, um, uh, than the control, the, um, just the, the water. So here's what we got. Colloidal copper didn't do nothing. Um, colloidal gold did something, but not much. The consistency was affected, but not very much. And the colloidal silver, you know, I, I wish I knew what grew in here, because this is no longer normal milk, but, um, and, and like, it didn't do the same thing that these other yogurt cultures did. Uh, it, it's still, I guess the jury is still out, because it, it's definitely not normal milk. Something did grow in there. Not normal yogurt culture, though, that's for sure. Um, what I was hoping to find was, you know, I guess the, 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 the thing people push for on the Internet is that, that colloidal silver kills all bad bacteria and, and, um, and doesn't kill good bacteria. That seems awfully odd to me. Um, uh, but here we, we have um, a known good bacteria. I, I think it's pretty reasonable to say that yogurt is a, a good and healthy bacteria. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know what happened here. I don't know if we killed half of it or what. It, it, it's really, um, it's almost thick to like a custard at the bottom, and I, uh, you know, I know it's not a normal yogurt fermentation, but that doesn't mean that what we have here, which did ferment, is good or bad bacteria. Unless, of course, I die tomorrow. Okay, just kill that.